Welcome back to the Berry Mountain Homestead. Today we are going to be doing some winter sewing. If you've never done winter sewing before, basically what you do is you use these milk jugs that you see behind me. You use duct tape, soil, and then essentially it's becoming a little greenhouse in there. And this allows you to be able to sow seeds and start your seeds outdoors without having to worry about doing it inside. The reason we're doing this, if you remember from my vlog a little bit ago, we asked you guys how on earth we're going to start seeds indoors when we only have a little RV and we have no space. Some of you said to start them underneath, which is a really good idea, but we were worried about how to access them in order to care for them, um, just because it's kind of hard to get under there. But that was our plan B until we found this winter sewing idea online. We've done a lot of research about it and it sounds like a really good idea. I did know of someone who did this before and this is how she starts all of her seeds and even though it is currently March you can actually do this in January and it can even have snow on the ground and it still works so from what I've read when you start it that early when you start it in January what ends up happening is when it frosts and then defrosts and the whole winter process then the outside membrane of that seed starts to break down and it actually starts to germinate easier somewhat similar to when you soak your seeds you don't have to do that with something like this so you put the seeds in there you put the soil in it creates like a greenhouse effect it also then protects the seeds when it is really cold um, if they germinate too soon though that would be a problem so I read that you should start your early spring stuff first. You don't want to start things like tomatoes in January. You could start them in March and it could still be cold nights. You don't want to start delicate things in January. I've heard mixed things. Some people say that they start everything early in winter and they just do all of it like that. Other people said no, start with your spring crops first, your lettuce and broccoli and stuff like that that are a little bit hardier and then do it again in around March with your your other stuff now we're starting this right now in March we didn't do it yet so we can really do anything we ordered a bunch of seeds from Baker Creek and they have not come yet so we're gonna do some stuff today and then we're gonna wait and when they come in we'll do those things the things we ordered are like tomatoes and beans and peppers and stuff like that today I'm going to be doing some spinach I have some Brussels sprouts romaine lettuce cilantro and then also a bunch of flowers my favorite flowers to do every year are sunflowers zinnias and marigolds so let's talk about what you actually need to create these winter sewing greenhouses um first of all you need translucent containers they shouldn't be solid white they shouldn't be completely clear translucent is the best so like your standard milk jug um, i'm a teacher and so i asked my staff to bring in some milk jugs and they obviously delivered and we have 10 milk jugs then you can also get these cat litter containers that are really really good we have four of those and what you do is you cut these in half and then the next thing you need is a box cutter to cut all of these in half then you're going to need your duct tape to seal it and you want to be able to unseal it eventually and uncover the top when your plants are ready for that so it has to be something that's temporary so the duct tape works perfect for that and it creates kind of like a hinge that you can open and close your little greenhouses then of course you need some good seeds and the last thing you need is a drill because you have to put holes in the bottom of your little winter sowing greenhouses that way they can drain. Butterflies are floating like your red hair in the breeze. Spring awakening, new love takes me into lilac dreams. All right, guys, so after doing one, uh, you can see kind of how it's going to look. I cut off the whole bottom. Then you're going to put wet soil in here, and that's where you're going to plant your seeds. This you're going to close, tape this up, no top on it. You can actually throw this away. But then when it's warm enough, like a sunny day like today, for example, you could open this guy up and let them breathe, let them get some sun. You have to obviously close it if you have any cold weather or frost or anything like that. That way they're protected. After putting holes in the bottom, I remember I read a 
article or a blog online that someone said that they prefer to put the holes on the side they find that the holes at the bottom just clog um so i did both i figured why not just be you know careful that you don't want water to stay in there and for your seeds to rot so now that i did this one i just created a little hinge that way i didn't get the tops and the bottoms mixed up um because i imagine that would be a, a big headache with all of them so now i just have 12 more to go hey beside me whisper softly your sweet empathy crisp reflections on the water of you close to me researching this there was three ways that people cut them and did a hinge and so I wanted to try all three different ways that way I could tell you guys like which I like better um, the first way is to cut the whole thing out and then use tape to make the hinge the other way is to leave just a little bit um, just uncut and the plastic just stays and remains and when you need to open it you just open it and then the other way is to do that same thing leave a little bit of plastic attached and that creates the hinge but to do it where the handle is on the corner for the jugs this is what I did to most of them I made the hinge with the plastic and I'm just gonna open and close them that way so they are now all done I did holes throughout the side and holes on the bottom now it's time to fill these with moist soil and start actually planting later now and I figured I would give you an update about our winter sewing. Um, it's turning out to be a really awesome project. I am going to insert some shots of what the plants look like now and given like I said it's been two weeks so we saw growth pretty early on. It has been pretty mild. Um, there was one time where the plants did sprout and then it was supposed to be really cold and we're supposed to get a frost. Because they're so easily moved we just picked them up and we put them under the RV where we have the heat lamps and everything and then that kept them nice and warm down there but I do suggest this method if you would like to try it out if you already have tried this method out and you have some feedback for us I definitely leave it down in the comments if you're not already subscribed be sure to do that before you go too we love creating content on here for you guys we love just basically documenting our journey in this part of our life because it is so exciting we also just ordered a ton of grow bags and you guys saw that we have made that garden bed we're gonna be sharing some garden space with my mom and so we do have a setup for this season um, but we are very excited to get up on our own property and have our garden you know of our own and a big garden and everything kind of like out of pots uh, we've lived in apartments and we lived in our uh, suburb house our little rental house and so we've done the pot life and I think we'll be glad to get away from that eventually when we can clear our land and get our garden going. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I hope you're staying healthy and safe. And I know Tony wishes that is for you as well. He is currently at work right now and we wanted to get this video going. So be sure to subscribe and like this video and we'll catch you guys in our next video. Bye.